Okay, so we've had about three weeks of cold weather and we're sort of 9th of uh, December today. So this is probably a time when there's zero brood or minimal brood in the, in the hive. When you're using oxalic acid, um, broodless is best because the oxalic acid won't go into the cells. It'll just treat the mites that are on the bees, what they call the thoracic mites. So we've taken the inspection board out and we've found about 30 mites on there in total. So we know that the treatment uh, over the period this has been in is probably a, a, an average drop of four to five a day, and that's above the treatment threshold. So I've stripped the hive down, ready for us to go in. The whole point of this is do it as quickly as you can. So I've got a syringe here, and this is the mixed up solution I've made. I'm just gonna pour some of the solution, and the solution I've warmed a, to mix it, but B, so I'm not pouring kind of freezing cold um, stuff on the bees. I'm going to take about 50 mil up, and I'm going to put it in one of these little trickle bottles. You could do it straight from the syringe, but these little trickle bottles are quite handy. They're a quid from Thorn. I'm just going to put the lid back on this so I don't then knock it over and spill it. So the idea of these little bottles is this little bulb here takes 5 mil which is the dose that goes in each seam. So you squeeze, you squeeze it whoo, until you fill the bottle, fill the bulb, and then if you hold it so that this pipe is to, in the palm of your hand, as you squeeze it, only that five mil goes in until you refill the bubble. So I'm just gonna put that there. We've got the hive over here. But I haven't looked in this for ages, so it'll be interesting to see what we see. So, speed, colony's alive, so on about five frames, so I'm going to look for frames that have got bees in, there's no point treating a frame that doesn't have bees in, there's a few bees in this one, so five mil, refill the bubble, five mil in the seam, refill the bubble, I just trail my thumb down the, the, the um, frame, so I know where I've got to. Five mil. Once you've got five mil out, it, you actually can't pump it any more out, as long as you've got the bottle the right way round. Next one. Five mil in there. Let's get to the end of the seam. Tiny tad more because we not quite make it. So you're using about 50 mil of this solution per hive. I've warmed the solution. As you see, there's a few bees flying, but not many. And we've picked a day where it's warmish. It's about five, six degrees, which for this time of year isn't bad. It's still not too frosty. It's not too warm, because if it was too warm, a lot of the bees would be out. What you want is the bees clustered, but you don't want it to be so freezing cold that, that every time you go in, that like going in the hive is a real massive disturbance. So this is about as good as it gets. So I'm going to just finish in hopefully a minute or less. Put the lid back on. Job done. Um, two minute job. I like the trickle method. There are other methods that involve kind of um, vaporizing the oxalic acid but you need a lot of kit and you need a lot of protection. If you're doing this, you'd be wearing gloves anyway, but make sure you're wearing gloves. It is an acid. It's a bit like working with a bleach or something like that that you work with at home. Just be, just be careful with it. Eye protection, if you feel necessary, I wear glasses so I don't feel a huge kind of need for extra eye protection. Treat it with respect. Um, that hopefully will have a 95% plus knockdown rate on, on the uh, mites and the bees. Thank you.